Hi everyone, my name is Chantel and welcome back to my channel. Today we have another Smart Art box and this is the December box. Thanks so much to Smart Art for sending me this box to review for you all. If you would like to have 10% off your first order, then check out the link in the description box below. But without further ado, let's have a look what's inside. The orange tissue paper. And the first thing we see is, is it graphite? I don't know. Scratch board. Uh -huh. so it looks very festive by the way. Look at the beautiful lion. So there's the project tools is basically what's inside the box. We have the Smart Art Project, a quick start guide, a skills challenge guide, and the project pointers and the prompts, which are snow, wings, otter, and night sky. I like those prompts. Let's have a look. What's this? Scratch board by ampersand, six by six panel. It looks like there's three inside. So the booklet says it is ampersand scratch board, six by six, three pack. It is clay coated hardboard and it's coated with India ink. Then we have an engraving tool set, different nibs by Royal Langnickel. We have a Strathmore sketch, recycled sketch paper sketchbook. That is a chunky boy. Okay, smart art, we need to talk. This is the third set of graphite pencils that I've received this year. And I have been receiving the boxes since May 2020. And this is the third set of graphite pencils. That's way too many, smart art. We have graphite paper, but this is white. So I assume because the scratch boards probably this as well is black you can actually transfer onto that as well so here we have it's a very shiny hello you can see my face uh, silver royal Langnickel six blank boards and I assume that it shows up silver underneath there we have that and the sticker I'm gonna have a good think what I'm gonna do with all these supplies and I'll come back to you all. So there's not much to test out here. Okay, so these are very, very matte. As you can see, they look absolutely beautiful though. So what I'm thinking is maybe we can use this entire box for a change as in just as is and then we can place one of these boards as a uh, centerpiece here take these parts off and then when you open it you can have some dividers here perhaps maybe i don't know this could be a place for a sketchbook and then perhaps a place for pens and a place for small items. Let's get into it, shall we? So you're not used to seeing a Friday video from me doing a smart art project. However, I am preparing for a big video that is coming out next week. So I had already filmed this and this is what you're getting from me today because I want to concentrate on this bigger project. It is a collaboration. I am not gonna spoil you with anything else. Anyway, I'm sketching out a moth because I thought this black matte board was absolutely perfect for the night sky which is also one of the prompts and also one of the prompts is wings so i decided to do a moth and then i placed the sketch on the board 
with the transfer paper in, in between and then I'm going to trace the base shapes of that drawing again onto the board and then we take it off. This is what it looks like. And then you start scratching. That's basically the whole gist of this art. But it was so satisfying and I really enjoyed scratching on this particular clay board. It, it's way more satisfying than the actual scratch board itself. And I'm glad that SmartArt decided to put these clay boards in as well and not just the silver scratch board, just the, the cardboard kind of scratch board, because this felt like a high grade art supply. Now, of course, I'm not just gonna do the scratch board art because it wouldn't be my channel if I would just do that. So um, let's, uh, let's get creative with the box and the silver scratch board that came in the box. So after finishing all the stars on the uh, clay scratch board, this is what I ended up with. I might actually turn this into a print because I really, really like this artwork. So from another smart art box, I decided to cut out the top part and cut a square into the top part of that. And this will be the top of the actual box that I will be creating. And this is how it sits on top of the box. Then I'm just going to prepare the Smart Art box, the actual box the supplies came in, by gluing down some of the cardboard flaps that are in on the inside and cutting off the two side parts at the front. Then from another previous Smart Art box, I cut the sections that are going to divide the box into parts for the art supplies and going to glue them into place. And I'm also gluing on the top part of the box and then with some super glue I'm gluing on some magnets. One on each side at the front of the box so it can snap closed. I'm then getting my mixture of PVA glue and water out to cover the entire box in the tissue paper. This will make the box stronger and it also gives some nice texture. I'm going to do this for the in and outside of the box. With the acrylic paints I received in the previous Smart Art box, and especially the black one, I'm going to cover the entire box, the out and inside, in this paint. I started with a sponge and I don't know why I did this. You can just use a paintbrush. When the paint is finally dry, I am then moving on to splattering on some stars on the entire outside surface of the box. And this is what we have so far. Now let's move on to the inside of the box. I thought this purple felt would do perfectly for the interior of this box. You can of course just paint the base of the box black or a different color or cover it in fabric. Then I'm speeding up the process of this drawing because it is a simple drawing of an eye and some celestial stuff around it, which I'm then going to transfer with the white tissue paper onto the silver scratch board and then going to scratch it in. It was very hard for me to capture that on camera. I did a very tiny snippet of how I did that. Um, but yeah, my camera did not like the silver reflection. There we go. This is the, um, the silver reflection and it's very glary and I'm sorry for that. And here is me scratching out some of the artwork. And this is the final result on the silver scratch board. And I am really, really, happy with how this turned out. This scratch board is going to sit on the inside lid of the box. 
So let's pop the top part in and the scratch board on the inside as well. So here we go. It is a box with some artwork at the top and when you open it, this is what you will see. I can perfectly fit a sketchbook in there and some other supplies like some pencils and some pens and even my scratchboard stuff and also an eraser and a sharpener and those kind of things. And this is it for the December 2020 Smart Art Box. I really had a lot of fun with this project, especially the clay scratch boards. There is a discount code for you in the description box below to get 10% off your first box. If you would like to support me, you can do so by signing up for my Patreon. You can find the link in the end card of this video or in the description box below. And if you're new here, welcome! Please don't forget you can click the subscribe button to become part of the Raven family. Thanks so much for watching, stay safe and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!